Hi friends, today we are going to be creating our beautiful artwork inspired by the artist Alma Thomas. In her artwork you see a lot of different colors, bright colors, sometimes it looks like a mosaic tile, sometimes it looks like a sun. I really want you to have fun with this and make it your own. Whatever colors you want to use, you can. You can just follow along kind of the guidelines of how I'm creating it, but truly make it your own and pick your colors. Today what we'll need is a white piece of paper. Um, you'll need some crayons. Crayons work really well for this. Um, also oil pastels do, but I know most of you have crayons instead. Um, you'll use your watercolor set. Um, I have my little cup of water and my paintbrush. And something round to trace. You could use a bowl, you could use a lid, you could use a cup. And if you don't have something round to trace, you can always um, just draw a circle too. It will be up to you. Um, now, if there's any supplies of these that you don't have, or maybe you're not allowed to use your watercolor paints, it's okay. Use whatever materials you can use. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our paper and we're going to trace a circle on our paper somewhere. It doesn't matter where on your paper. Sometimes I like doing it in the middle at the top here or the middle here. I'm going to do it kind of off to the side. And I'm going to use the smaller end of my cup here to make a smaller circle. I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to trace around that circle. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry, you can't see that on my paper. Just yet. There we go. So you can see my circle is not perfect by any means, and that's okay because we're going to be coloring it in. So there is the start to my picture, my circle, and I'm going to decide what color I want to color it. I think I'm going to start with the color blue. And so I am going to color in my circle with the crayons. Now again, if you want to start painting this, you can. I like to use my crayons first and then use my paint because then when I paint over top of the crayon, you'll still be able to see it. And I'll show you what that looks like. This is going to be the start of our picture, that circle. And again, you can add that anywhere to your picture. Color in your circle whatever color you want. You can even do it more than one color if you want. Now I'm going to take my colors and I'm going to start creating kind of little lines going around my circle. I'm going to leave some space in between. Okay, there's my orange. And maybe I'll use red. And I'm going to leave some space. Now, because my circle is so close to the edge of my paper, um, some of my lines are going to kind of go off. You might be able to go all the way around your circle again. And now as I go around, I'm not able to go all the way around my circle, but I'm still going to follow kind of that curve that my circle makes with my lines. Maybe I'll start my pattern over again, or you can keep it random colors. Maybe you're going to make your spaces in between bigger. Maybe you're going to make your lines bigger. It's up to you. I'm kind of changing my colors up as I go. closer to the edge here. Um, I'm just going to have this little, little section here. Okay, 
now I have my lines going around my circle. Now that I have my lines going around my circle, I'm going to add my paint. And again, if you're not allowed to use paint, you can always use markers. And guess what? Markers don't stick to crayons either. Now, when I use my paint, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time, these little lines are going to be a little bit bigger, and I'm going to try not to use the same color as my crayon that I have here. So as I go around, I'm going to create other lines, and they don't have to line up exactly with the lines that you drew. Okay. Yellow. I think I'm gonna do some, some purple. You can even do it in the spaces in between. Just kind of dabbing my paintbrush and leaving space in between it. You can keep switching up those colors as many times as you want every kind of row around my my circle I change my color and again I'm trying not to do the same color that I used for my crayon trying to change it up really want you to make this your own though and have fun with it with all those different colors <clears throat> oh, maybe I'll do some red now too you could even practice making a Rainbow if you want. Maybe you want to draw all your lines with your crayon in cool colors and then maybe you want to paint with warm colors. Remember the more paint you add on your paintbrush, the more vibrant those colors will be. Even should I leave lines you can even Paint on top again to make it a little bit darker. Some orange. And again, when you paint right over top of those, um, Those crayon lines, you'll still be able to see the crayon because the paint doesn't stick to it, which is really pretty cool. I love how bright and colorful her artwork is. Makes me really happy. How do those these colors make you feel? You want to do a pattern of your colors rotating. You can definitely do that. Maybe you don't want to do your painted lines directly on top of it. Maybe you want to do it in between it. I'm not doing um, any particular pattern, but if you want to, you can. To get closer, I'm getting close to the edge of my paper, but that's okay. I'm going to 
keep on going. So now that I can't go down here, I'm just gonna pop right over here. Do my purple again. Oh, and that orange again. green. Almost done. I love coming back to that yellow too. How beautiful. Look at all those beautiful colors and you can still see the colors of your crayon too. Once you are done, please put it in a safe spot to dry. Um, I would love to see some beautiful pictures of your artwork. So if you want to send them to your teacher or message me through e or send a picture to me through email, I'd love to see your amazing work. Great job, friends.